Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, September 18th, 2022. This puzzle has a title, it's called Because I Said So. Alright, let's get started. One across. Fish tank build up. I think this has to be algae, right? Yeah. Ooh, we have almost a grid spanner up here. That's a very long entry. Surrounded by... That could be a mid. Tragic showgirl of song. Is it Lola? I'm not 100% sure about that one. Chutzpah? That could be gall. That's a lot of nerve. Like PETA. Hmm. Is it just acronym? <laughs> Uh, I don't think that fits, does it? I guess it does. That's not really an adjective, though. That's a noun. What's on the across here? Disney film with the titular heroine. That's gotta be Moana, right? She's the main character of that movie. I guess this is probably gonna be anti-something. It's probably anti-fur. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Blank de V. Is that... O de V? Does that mean water of life? And then we have Dali here, painter whose motifs include ants and eggs. That sounds plausible, yeah. Excellent. Let's take a look at our first really long across answer. I imagine this is probably going to have something to do with the theme, because I said so. Mechanics go-to parenting phrase. <laughs> well, this is about parenting, so because I said so makes a lot of sense. Is it going to be, I'll turn this car around? That is really, really funny. Okay, so maybe these are common parenting phrases that can be interpreted as coming from a specific profession. That would be kind of fun. Yeah, let's see if that's the case. Oh, we do actually have two full grid spanners in the center here. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Poker option. I guess that could be raise, right? Gift for writing? Hmm. Is this like a talent for writing? Or is it just something you would give someone as a gift if they're a writer? I have a feeling it's the first thing. I'm not sure what that would be though. Noshes could be eats maybe? Feel that gym session. This is probably going to be a what something might appear out of or disappear into. I'm imagining this is going to be thin air. That's pretty fun. Bog product. I think this is going to be peat. Yeah, that's partially decayed vegetation. Pricing word. I think this has to be each. Gift for writing. Hmm. Maybe it is a physical gift you could give someone. Give the nod. I guess that could be a scent. French liver. Ooh. I'm not sure if I know this one. Um, you know what it could be if it's an actual gift that you would give someone? It could be a pen set, right? That is so funny. Nail polish brand with a tickle my Francie shade. That's very punny. I guess this is probably going to be OPI. We've seen them a lot lately. Nice. Okay, we've got this whole corner finished. Epitome of simplicity. Is that going to be ABC? Simple as ABC? PM times. Is this going to be the very awkward abbreviation AFTS <laughs> for afternoons? Christmas color for Elvis. He had a song, Blue Christmas, right? Yeah, that's a holiday classic. Guam's features a sailboat and palm tree. I gotta imagine that's their flag. The burden of proof author. Hmm. Uh, is this like a mystery book? I don't know if I know this one. Like many resorts, I gotta imagine those are seaside resorts. Check it out for yourself, an equivalent phrase. I think go see makes sense here. Up to 11 meters for a pterodactyl. Is that their wingspan? Wow. That is enormous. That's kind of hard to picture. That's so big. Baroque painter Guido. Hmm. Is it Rene? I don't know if I've heard of them. 
like some restrictions. Hmm. I guess it could start with DE. Ingredient in homemade hand sanitizer. That's probably going to be aloe gel. Reed of the Velvet Underground. I've done some reading about him. I know this is Lou Reed. Sellers franchise with the. Is this a hidden proper noun? Is this Peter Sellers? Is this like a television show he was on? I'm not sure what this is going to be. Swiss Peak? And I guess they're probably going to want the French word for an Alp. That's going to be Alp with an E. Pork cut. Hmm. I'm going to have to recuse myself from this one. Charm. What is that? Oh, this is tricky because this could be a noun or a verb. I think it's going to be a verb. I think it's going to be endear. Very nice. Mana blank. Well, it's either Mauna Loa or Mauna Kia. It has to be Kia with that E in there. Blank port in a storm. That's any port in a storm. I think we saw that a couple of weeks ago, actually. Hmm. I really don't think this is another E. That would be weird with this E here. Horror star Cheney. That's Lon Cheney, the man of a thousand faces. Animal that turns white in the winter. I think that's going to be a stoat. Yeah, I think it's known as an ermine when it's all white. Hmm, this is starting to look like the pink panther. That would make sense, yeah. Uh, maybe it's dietary restrictions and it's Rennie? Guido Rennie. I don't think I've ever seen that name before. Solo, could that be stag? You could go to a party stag. Some remote power sources. Well, it's asking for sources plural, so this has to be double A's plural. Part of a homemade Halloween costume. Hmm. It's not going to be a mask or anything. What is this going to be? Homemade. Interesting. Well, I imagine this long across answer might be another theme answer. Let's take a look here. Personal trainers go to parenting phrase. It looks like it might be sit up straight. <laughs> these are all so funny. I'm sure we'll all have heard most of these as children growing up from our parents. Yeah, a large number. I guess this could be a slew or a scad. Let's see if this is a C or an L. Stephen King's first published novel. That's definitely Carrie, so this is going to be a scad, I think. I am not what I am, speaker. Is that Iago? Yeah, in his play that's all about envy, as we learned a couple of days ago. Pioneering sci-fi film that was snubbed for Best Visual Effects Oscar for its use of computers. I think that was Tron. Yeah, that was very groundbreaking. In the past is a go, that's right. I wonder if we can take a stab at this grid spanner. Let's give it a shot here. Conductor's go-to parenting phrase. Hmm. Well, it looks like it's going to start with don't. I don't know if this is a train conductor or an orchestra conductor. Hmm. Don't make me come in there? Yeah, that's not quite right. Road trip determination. That could be a route. Decade in which many in Gen Z were born. I think that has to be the aughts. Yeah. This is our, your and my relative, and this is wordplay. So this is not about someone that's related to you and me. I think it's going to be a pronoun that's related to your and my. Very tricky. Affectionate greeting. That's definitely going to be a hug. In this matter. Is this legalese? Is it going to be here too? <laughs> Definitely sounds like something a lawyer would say. Part of a homemade Halloween costume. This has to be talking about a specific character. Hmm. Main ingredient in poi. That could be taro root. Yeah. Roof overhang. That's going to be an eve. Hmm. What in the world is this? kind of diagram that's got to be a Venn diagram. 
arid, could be sear, that's very dry, that's kind of a $10 word. Oh, is this just a sheet that you cut holes in to be a ghost? That's pretty funny. A rose, hmm, I don't know about this one. Liquor in tiramisu, ooh, what is that? I know I've had tiramisu before. I think it's amaretto, actually. That would make sense, because it's kind of almond flavored. Elementary particle named for a Greek letter. I want to say that's tau, and we do want to have a T here for don't. Called a strike, say. I think this is not going to be about a labor strike. I think it's going to be about a baseball strike. That could be umped, right? Like some potato chips and language. Uh, crispy? <laughs> what is this? Hmm, I guess it's gonna be an S. I think this is gonna be, don't use that tone with me. <laughs> I guess we're going with the musical conductor here. That's very funny. With me, very nice, okay. Hmm, I'm not sure what these potato chips are gonna be. You know what, I think I spelled amaretto wrong. I think this should be an A. And then this could be salty, because you could have salty language, right? That's pretty funny. Eightfold. That's an octuple. Part of NATO abbreviated. I think that's the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. I think it's something like that. So this will probably be Atlantic. A rose. Hmm. I'm still not sure. Animal working in the DMV in Zootopia. That is a sloth. That's a very funny scene. Hmm. Maybe it stood up. It's a person arising. Okay. Large number. I don't know. It's not 10. Share accommodations. Is it about dorming together in college? I don't know about that. Hmm. Blank Leadbetter, aka Lead Belly. Uh, I don't think I've heard of this person. Leadbetter, hmm. TV drama with spin offs set in Hawaii and New Orleans. I think that's NCIS, isn't it? That's kind of a procedural show. Jardins d'Enfants, par exemple. <laughs> oh god, I have no idea. Something for children, for example. And this is gonna be in French. Hmm, is it gonna be schools? Ecoles, maybe. I'm not sure what Jardins is. I guess it could be schools. Tech and culture magazine since 1993. That's gotta be Wired. Has a left the office, e.g. Is it is out? Yeah. Texas politician Beto. That's Beto O'Rourke. All right, small building block. Is that an atom? That's a very small building block, yeah. City on the Irtish River. I guess it's probably gonna be Omsk in Russia. I've never heard of the Irtish River before, but I don't think anything else would fit here. Parcel out, that's gonna be meat out. And this'll be est, cornerstone abbreviation. Yeah, established. Very nice, okay. Jay-Z and Kanye West song that samples Try a Little Tenderness. Hmm, I don't think I know this one. Pigeon Coop, that's gonna be a coat. Yeah, that's a little place for pigeons to live. What a bad dancer is said to have. I think this is gonna be two left feet. I love that expression, that's really funny. It's a drag, hmm. Is it gonna be a toe? You're literally dragging something? Emmy winning ward, that's definitely Sela Ward. She's been a crossword standby lately. Hmm, is it Otis? Is this like an homage to Otis Redding? I don't know, it could be. Rock used to make ultramarine. Ooh, so this is gonna be some kind of mineral, huh? I don't know about this one. Clean Air Act Org. That's got to be the EPA. This isn't Topaz, right? Is there another ward? I don't think it's Burt Ward. I really don't think so. And that wouldn't help anyway. From the get-go. 
Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. Miscreant's record, maybe. Hmm. Is it like demerits or being written up somehow? I don't know. Basic personal information. I don't think this is going to be social security number, is it? 2003 Will Ferrell movie. That's going to be Elf. Hmm. Interesting. Google blank. Zoom alternative. I don't know if I know this. Is it Google Meet, maybe? GPS calculations in brief. This can't be routes, can it? We have a route here already. Hmm. This would be a really weird duplication. That's usually not allowed. That's very strange if that's right. Hotspot in England? And this is wordplay, so this is not about a cool club in England. I think this is about a spot of tea that's hot, yeah. Um, hmm, yeah, so maybe it's not routes. That would be really good. I think this could be teas, and maybe this is ETAs. That's much, much better. Maybe it is Google Meet. I guess that's a lucky guess. Hmm, man, I have no idea. Spill it, an equivalent phrase. That's gotta be tell me. It sounds like you've got someone by the lapels there. From the get-go, maybe that's at first? Yeah, and this is age. Yeah, that's basic personal information. Except the facts. Hmm, is it like get a clue? Is that right? Rock used to make ultramarine. I think this has to be lapis, lapis lazuli. Yeah, that's a very blue rock. So this is not get a clue. Is it get smart? I guess that could be. Shouldn't this be arrests? Yeah, so it's not get smart. Um, hmm. Maybe it's gets real? I guess that could be too. Flow slowly. That's gotta be seep. And I wonder if we can get this other grid spanner here. Mathematician's go-to parenting phrase. Okay, I told you something. It is Otis. Uh, hmm. I think we're gonna need some more help here. Yeah. Singer James, that's Etta James. A4 Automaker, I think that has to be Audi. Lemon Blank, that's gotta be a lemon drop. That's a kind of candy. Pretentious. Is it Artie? I think that could be Star Wars Order. Is it Sith? Yeah, it's not an order from a superior officer. It's an order of evil force users. Very tricky, just like the Sith. Snack cakes with creamy swirls. I don't know this for sure, but it looks like it's gonna be ho-hos. Yeah, I told you a hundred times. Oh my God, what a mathematical phrase. That's really funny. A hundred times. We gotta do our times tables here. Is this 10? No, it's gotta be ton. Yeah, it's not a specific number. Hmm, we're not gonna get this still. Hmm, it really seems like this should end in up. Maybe it could be double up. That makes a lot of sense. And this is UPI, Newswire Company. I do believe that's right. I think I've seen that before. I'm still not sure what it stands for though. It does look like this is gonna be Ecoles though. That's schools in French. That was a very lucky guess. Blanket, informal challenge. That's gotta be bring it, right? You're challenging someone to a fight. Insult, that's gotta be dis. These are very appropriate crosses here. Hmm, man, this is still looking very unfamiliar. Word seen at the end of many Jean-Luc Godard movies. I imagine that's gonna be fiend, right? The end? <laughs> very funny. Oh my God, we're just gonna need every letter on crosses here. Rival you kind of like. Is that gonna be a frenemy? That's a fun portmanteau. I wonder if we can get this theme answer. Let's take a stab at it. Air traffic controllers go to parenting phrase. 
I have a feeling I know this one. I think this is going to be your grounded, just like an airplane. So this is Huddy Ledbetter. Oof, I never would have guessed that. That's really tricky. Not going to happen, an equivalent phrase. Is it like, uh, no? Is this she, her pronoun partner? Yeah, it is. Two N's in a row though, that seems a little weird. Lacking the resources. I don't think this is going to be an N. Not going to happen. Maybe it's uh-uh. Is that just U-H-U-H? -U -H? Yeah, U-N looks much better here. I don't know what it's going to be though. Spooky could be eerie, just like someone wearing a homemade ghost costume. <laughs> like a clear night. That has to be starry, right? That's a little too short. Maybe it's starlit. There we go. Tropical vine. Hmm. I don't know if I know this one. Brown blank girl. That's brown eyed girl. All right, let's see if we can get this last theme answer. Librarian's go-to parenting phrase. <laughs> I think I know this one too. I think this is gonna be, let's play the quiet game. <laughs> I used to use that on my younger sister when we were little kids. That is pretty funny. Tropical vine, ooh. Yeah, I don't know this. Chemical suffixes. Is it gonna be eens, maybe? Airport initials. Yeah, this should be the TSA, right? And then I did it, an equivalent phrase, that's ta-da. So ta-da, we got liana. That's a tropical vine. I don't think I've ever seen that word before. Pool shade should be aqua kind of discount. Hmm, it's not a coupon. Backless shoe. What is this? Is it a mule? Is that a shoe? I'm not sure about that. Jabbers should be yaks. Lacking the resources. Could that be unable? Yeah, maybe this is a bulk discount. Is this a mule? Maybe I had that right after all. Counts on, that should be relies on. Farmyard mamas, is that gonna be use? That's amazing, an equivalent phrase. That has to be wowee. Color classification could be a hue. From where, is that gonna be whence? That kind of sounds a little bit like lawyer talk too. All right, it might be changed or made up. You can change your mind and make up your mind. Look in Latin. I think this is ecce. It's used in the famous quote, ecce homo, behold the man. Took to court. That's gotta be sued. So this is the ICU hospital area. That's right, the intensive care unit. Naval Academy grads. That's gotta be ensigns, right? Not out of the running. That'll be in it. We're still in it. Dance with a paradiddle step. <laughs> I've never seen this word before. Is it tap? Maybe one, maybe both. Hmm, I don't know what this is asking for. Jen Blank, 2021 to 22, White House Press Secretary. Uh, wasn't it Psaki? I think it was like this, right? Maybe it is tab. Nothing, that could be nada. It's kind of informal matching this elided G. Is this I'm okay? Words of reassurance, yeah, I think so. Actress Gar, that's definitely Terry Gar. And or? Oh, it's and or, maybe one, maybe both. Very nice, all right, let's throw this A in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 38 minutes. That's a good brisk time for a Sunday solve. I really liked this theme. These because I said so parenting phrases were all really funny, and I liked that they were all associated with an appropriate profession. As a kid, I was always really afraid of getting in trouble, so working our way through these theme answers was a real trial by fire for me. <laughs> but thankfully, we made it through unscathed. Yeah, these were all really fun. I'll turn this car around for a mechanic, sit up straight for a personal trainer, 
Don't use that tone with me for a conductor. I told you a hundred times for a mathematician. You're grounded for an air traffic controller. And let's play the quiet game for a librarian. Yeah, these are all really funny. I think as far as the rest of the fill goes, it was fairly straightforward. It was mostly there supporting this really fun theme. There was some highlights though. I really liked Pink Panther as a piece of fill. As soon as we put this in, I got the Pink Panther theme stuck in my head for the rest of the solve. That was pretty fun. I love this phrase, two left feet. That's really nice. And Frenemy is a fun portmanteau. Also, I'm very happy to see anti-fur on the grid. Yeah, you gotta leave those stoats alone. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed solving this Sunday puzzle full of classic parenting phrases. You'd better come back tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. Why? Because I said so, of course. Alright, I think that's gonna do it for now. I'll see you next time.